This is the tale of the third Ashes Test of the English summer, at a time when England found themselves behind in the series, having lost the first Test match and barely managing a draw in the second one at Lord's. The third Test at Headingley didn't begin too well for them either. They were in absolute disarray, only to be rescued by the heroics of a great English all-rounder. Sound familiar? You would be forgiven for thinking that this is about the Headingley heroics of Ben Stokes, who embarked upon a remarkable chase with number 11, Jack Leach, to chase down an improbable target of 359 runs. No, this is about the other miracle at Headingley. The year was 1981, and the all-rounder in question was none other than Ian Botham. On day four, England were heading towards an innings defeat when Graham Dilley joined Ian Botham at the crease. They were 135 for the loss of seven wickets, still 92 runs shy of making Australia bat again. Australian pacers Dennis Lilly and Terry Alderman had taken most of the England wickets, as they had done in the first innings. It was a desperate situation for England, and that was reflected in the odds that had flashed up on the Headingley scoreboard yesterday afternoon. 500 to 1 for an England victory. Indeed, the last time a side won a test match after being forced to follow on was more than 80 years ago. Botham, who had been replaced as England captain after the previous Ashes test by Mike Brearley, began a remarkable counter-attack. Perhaps it was liberation from the England captaincy which helped him accelerate from 39 to 103 with the help of 15 boundaries and a solitary single. At the end, both them made 149 not out, a combination of orthodox cricket and fierce hitting along with a few flukes and edges. Australia were set a target of 130 runs and were still favourites to win. They got off to a good start, having lost just one wicket for 56 runs. Bob Willis, however, had other plans. Like Botham, Willis wasn't having a great Ashes series. There had even been rumours before the game that he would be left out of the Headingley Test. He produced one of the greatest spells of hostile fast bowling to dismiss Australia for only 111. He ended up taking eight wickets for 43 runs to complete the Headingley miracle. England won by 18 runs and became only the second team in history to win a Test match after following on. The Headingley Test marked a turning point in the Ashes series. Botham's heroics ensured that the next two tests at Edgbaston and Old Trafford were also won. The Ashes was retained and the 1981 series became known as Botham's Ashes.